Welcome back to episode 3 of Break It Down, where we will take a scenarios and then try to break it down uh, and give you an insight into what I'm thinking uh, and then maybe try to solve the problem uh, for the scenario. So in today's episode, this is not a scenario per se, I would say more like a question. So let's go ahead and read that and take a look. As a team member in a team that does Scrum, my Scrum Master says that the daily Scrum is an example of continuous planning. Is it true? And if it is, how should we go about the daily Scrum? So this here is kind of very interesting uh, in my mind. Uh, we get into this conversation around continuous planning. Scrum, as we all know, it has an event. Uh, they, have, they are called the Sprint. Each sprint is basically you know, around two to four weeks. So it's kind of a fixed cadence, a time box where, you know, at the beginning of the sprint, we get together, we plan into our forecast how much we're going to get done for that sprint. Uh, at the end of the sprint, we take a, a measurement to see how much we've done. So when we talk about continuous planning, what does it mean here? So going back to the question, is our daily scrum an example of continuous planning? My answer is yes, it is. The reason is because every day of the sprint doing daily scrum, it's more like we're coming in, kind of, you know, seeing what we can do as a team to move the ball forward. In other words, we make some plans at the beginning of the sprint. This is the amount of work that we're going to go do or try to achieve. And then during each day, then we have data coming back, right? How much work that was completed, how many stories was done, uh, what are things are blocked and things like that. With this information, what do we do? we made adjustment to our plan. What can we do to move the ball forward? So how do we effectively facilitate the daily scrum? Now an example will be walking the ball. I'll provide a link up here or here uh, to a past video that I talked about how should you execute on a uh, daily scrum uh, using walk the board method. Find walking the board to be much more effective where you're not just answering those three questions, but you're actually looking on your board. What are the stories that are in progress? And you're answering the question of what can, what are we doing to move the ball forward? You know, taking the stories that are in progress to done, and then looking at other stories that might be coming in. What is my next story that I'm working on? So it gives us a quick glimpse into, hey, is our plan correct? What do we need to do to make adjustment to our plan? Do we want to bring more work in? Do we want to adjust? What are we doing as a team to complete what we plan during sprint planning? How would you go about explaining continuous planning to a team member if you're asked that same question? What methods or what facilitation methods would you do? What other techniques would you share with all of us? There you have it. Until the next episode, bye.